I was wrong about the Dragonflight pre-patch. A few weeks ago, guys, I made a video about the Dragonflight pre-patch, sharing my thoughts on this upcoming World of Warcraft content, and stating that overall, in my own opinion, I didn't think that the patch would be that good. Well, Dragonflight is out now, as you guys are probably well aware. The patch is long since over, and we've had the opportunity to digest the experience, as well as get feedback from you guys right here on YouTube about what you all thought about the Drakthir, Primal Storms, and everything else we experienced with the pre-patch leading up to Dragonflight. So today, we're going to lay down the judgment. We're going to talk about it. Was the Dragonflight pre-patch any good? Did the World of Warcraft community receive it well? Or will the pre-launch of this expansion go down as lackluster and lazy on Blizzard's part? Let's dive into today's video and talk about just that. So pause the video real quick. Let's recap what exactly was in this pre-patch for the players to enjoy for those of you that did not get the opportunity to play it. So before Dragonflight came out, the pre-patch was broken into two phases that would come out at different intervals. At first, we had Phase 1. Now this brought new talent trees to World of Warcraft, new race and class combinations. I'm sure you guys have heard of the Tauren Rogue at this point. And finally, we got that long requested UI update that allows us to really customize how we want, well, our UI to look like. Phase 2, which came out sometime later, introduced the Drakthir and the Evoker class to the game as well as, of course, the Drakthir starting zone. Phase 2 also brought with it Primal Storms. These were like these invasion events that happened all across Azeroth. And at these events, you could get item level 252 catch-up gear to prepare you for the release of Dragonflight. So it was a very quick way to level up alts. And lastly, Blizzard gave us a little cherry on top with the Legacy of Tear Dungeon. Now, this was a decent amount of content for sure for a pre-patch, but as I stated in my previous video, compared to past pre-patches, at least for some of the older expansions, this one was kind of lacking some of us veteran players felt. But who cares what I think, right? I I'm just one opinion. What was the opinion of the community? Well, overall, from what we gathered from you guys right here on YouTube, you all have seemed to have been really, well, kind of meh feeling about this pre-patch, but still positive nonetheless. Zavid of Cats says, the storms were lame, but the Drakthir were a lot more fun than I expected, so I would classify it mostly as a win. This guy with a really complex username said, I thought it was fine. I would have liked maybe a bit more story build up. I remember having fun in the BFA pre-patch, but otherwise it was still fine. Evoker was enough for me to enjoy it. Primal Invasions were just a little added bonus. And Benjamin Modern Life, he says, more of a grind than anything. The world bosses never really felt like much, no real storytelling behind it at all. More areas could have been invaded, I agree with this. I'd like to see the cities under attack and small quests within zones under the elements attack, but overall I wasn't upset. Coming back after six years away, playing only two months into Shadowlands and relearning my many classes was something interesting. The majority of the comments, you have to understand, were pretty much in this range of feeling. It was sort of a... Yeah, it was a good patch. It was okay, I guess. Like, that kind of mood. Nothing too grand. Nothing too exciting. Alt levelers were certainly happy. People who hadn't played for some time were certainly happy. But not everybody, admittingly, was so positive about the patch and what we got with it, especially compared to those previous expansions. Brett here says, It was really a disappointment compared to previous pre-patches. Go here and hit things is not as fun as the World Quests and Invasions vibe of Legion and BFA's pre-patch. It felt like there was some story behind it. Track there were cool, but that's more pre-release content than pre-expansion event content. It was still good to have fast leveling and stuff, but overall, it was a bit dull. Uh, Ved... Vedrand... Jurovic. Vedrand Jurovic says, They never delivered the same vibe from the pre-patch as Wrath of the Lich King. The story and everything was so good, it really felt like a Warcraft 3 campaign. And Lay's Cat, pretty meh, borderline lame, to be honest. Nothing but random elementals in three places on the map. But that free Feldrake on launch day, though. <laughs> But these are just a couple of comments. To reach a consensus, though, on the overall community opinion, we also ran a poll over on the community tab of this channel just to see what the results would be. We asked the people what they thought about the pre-patch. Did they enjoy it? And as you can see, we got mostly an overall meh. You can see, though, that according to the data, the hyper-majority of the people who submitted their opinions to the poll were actually very favorable to the pre-patch. There was a lot of love for the Drakthir and Evoker class in the comments section. 
the new talent trees were very well received, especially from classic WoW fans, myself included in that. The quick level up mechanics, as we've already stated, alt levelers loved the quick level up mechanics, and the invasions themselves were pretty good, aside from the horrible FPS lag, of course. And so, we arrived to it at last, where I, Nixium, have to say that after playing the pre-patch myself, playing it for those weeks with you guys, I am casting my final opinion into the community, and that is, I feel that I was wrong about the pre-patch, and I think that I judged it a little bit too quickly. You see, my original thought process was that because this pre-patch was not as offering as much as, let's say, Wrath of the Lich King's pre-patch, it was not going to be as good. And although I don't think that it was nearly as good from a storytelling perspective or just the general grand feeling of the event, and many comments that we received would agree with that, it doesn't change the fact that what we got was pretty cool. The Drakthir, I admit, are not necessarily my class of choice, I've talked about that in previous videos, but playing through the completed starting zone with my friends was awesome. The new Legacy of Tear Dungeon, I had a lot of fun with this one because I was learning how to tank as a warrior that I boosted to level 60. Although, I admit I did get yelled at at one point for not holding aggro correctly, but that's besides the point. I love the new talent tree changes, and I even found the Primal Storms to be pretty enjoyable. Logging in each day to kill a giant boss with hundreds of other players, no matter what time of day, pure FPS lag, it felt cool. I felt like a defender of Azeroth on this orc warrior that I've been maining in Dragonflight. I think the only thing to objectively criticize in the pre-patch, and you know where I'm probably going with this, is the UI. There was a lot of UI bugs at launch. So I stand corrected. I enjoyed the patch. I really did. I see that most of you guys did too, and I'm really happy to hear that. And that's awesome because guys, you gotta understand, I want to be proved wrong when I get all skeptical and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. When I assume that things are not gonna go well for World of Warcraft, I want to see my ass kicked with an epic delivery from Blizzard Entertainment. And although Primal Storms and Drakthir were not expected to be all that much, I think that those of us who got to play the pre-patch had for ourselves a great time. So now that that's all said, if you are feeling up to hearing my personal first impressions of Dragonflight after release so far, you gotta check out this video here on your screen right now because so far, this expansion has been fantastic. And I am happy to share the early positive vibes with you guys, the community. A big shout out to our channel members, and thanks for watching. See you next time.